everyone welcome to your energy check-in uh, please note this is a general reading so it might not always resonate you can always check your recent readings or a past reading you've not caught because um, your energy will be in line with it if you click on it um, and you've not seen it before or one you want to re-see or you can check your sun moon rising and venus sign placements um, so let's get into your energy. I don't know why I have like the goldfish or in a cartoon way coming towards me. Um, and you know in the cartoons sometimes they've got like red lipstick on. It's really random. But yeah, let's see. So um, let's see what comes through for you. I had a feeling your chakras would come through. So we've actually got the um, sacral chakra, we've got the heart chakra, and we've also got the woman uh, holding a coin. Um, some of you could be feeling that you're a bit blocked or bounded in some kind of way. This could be like something that's happened at work and you're kind of feeling you're stuck between a rock and a hard place for some for some reason. Um, there's something you need to do in order to boost that creativity within you that's going to reignite and spark a passion. Maybe some of you are just feeling a bit... Um, on a routine of a hamster wheel maybe it's not necessarily going really fast um, and it's out of balance but you there's a bit of a I feel like there's a bit of a demotivation there's been a lot of focus on work all right um, and I wonder if this is also then you're trying to avoid something you need to see within your heart uh, which is a journey that would take you on sort of i feel like a healing journey uh, a journey that's going to also lead you to a partnership this doesn't have to be love but it's just kind of like even a partnership with oneself all right we come into union with ourselves where we're not internally and externally battling ourselves i'm just going to clarify the woman holding the coin woman holding the heart you've got like the, the energies are just tying in and so it seems like once you um there is obviously there is love here we've got the heart chakra we've got the woman holding a heart which could be a masculine or feminine coming towards you we've seen it with the union card here and we've seen possibly a little bit of out of balance in terms of your work and then the spark of sort of passion um i do think a lot of you do enjoy your work, but I wonder if recently you felt a bit like mm, a bit uh, not in the best. You've had like days of questioning. Is this really sparking my interest all the time? Um, there's something that's holding you back. Now, this could also be that some of you have... Um, How can I put this by saying this on YouTube? I'm just going to pass on that. <laughs> I'm definitely all tied on on how to ex uh, to change uh, to explain that. But um, there's some kind of thing that might just by a little change, you might actually be able to change something that sparks a bit of interest for you. Um, obviously, love is one of them. So let's just get into your reading. There's too many cards falling out each time, so let's just try again. Okay. We've got the two of wands in reverse. Okay, so I think they're all upright. It's just the way they've fallen and I'm putting them. So they're going to be upright. The two of wands and then we've got the queen of wands. We've got the five of pentacles, the king of pentacles and the magician. It's definitely saying that you can manifest what you want to uh, uh, manifest in your life in terms of abundance. 
some of you feel like, yeah, again, you've been stuck in a bit of a, ro a rock and a hard place when it comes to uh, your job, your finances, your career. But it's showing that actually, I don't know why I'm getting you are valued at work, but what I was going to say as well is that you are able to ma make that move towards what you really, really want. And I feel like you're questioning that. You're questioning whether you can actually head towards what you really want or really find that spark of interest and passion. Um, and you might have put yourself on a standstill of kind of like, shall I go this way? Shall I go that way? And you're kind of torn between two paths. And I feel like here it's saying something that's in your heart or in your mind at the moment that is, when you think of it, is sparking a passion might be the right direction for you. Um, and will, and you are able to do this, you are able to bring it into your life. Um, so it's kind of like you don't need to question it. Let's get more cards. Very much about your day-to-day -day routine, very much about your resources, your home, your finances and career, this reading is. But it's also telling you as much as that's important, it's important to feel a spark, especially if you're starting to feel a bit mm, around life and things that excite you. Um, because there's an element here of healing the sacral and the heart chakra. And that is something about being in balance of your divine feminine energy as well. So I wonder if some of you have felt like you've had to have your focus on the 3D sort of world. And that part you've just not been able to tap into. But right now you're feeling that void. And then I'm just being brought back. If we think of fish, it's, it's prosperity. It's kind of like prosperity and we see it here. So I wonder if some of you have been questioning um, your ability to get where you want to be or your prosperity or the pay package even. And again, we've got it here. Um, here we've got, a, you know, having that judgment call, making that right judgment call, pick a card to have judgment call. Queen of Swords, again, very much in tie, tied in with each other, using your discernment, using your analytical kind of mind. And we've got the King of Wands here, having the passion to go forward. You've got a lot of energy around you at the moment as well. I don't know if this is people, family, people at work. I don't know if it's you overthinking things, overthinking people. Um, maybe you're talking to um, a mentor, some of you could be getting financial advice, um, you know, there's a lot of people in your energy and here we're talking about some of you could be assessing your finances, could be looking at your savings, some of you are happy with that, some of you are kind of like I need to just maybe tighten up a little bit around that. Um, your emotions are fairly grounded, you're not all over the place, but internally there is that little bit of um, the sacral and heart chakra uh, block for these reasons, okay, so you, you, can, you can do an energy healing, I do do that, but also navigating through this is going to help you pull through. The Page of Cups also ties in with what I've said, losing that youthful kind of, um, I feel like this reading could tie in with a lot of people, even my, myself, you know, you, so many things in life happen and we miss the signs, we can become overly sensitive um, and we have that blocked creativity because it's, it, you know, these two chakras are blocked. Yet your emotions, you're rational around your emotions. You kind of know what is what sparks your passion, but you're not able to get past this. But via doing this, reevaluating, looking at stuff, believing in yourself. Some of you could have had something that's give, given your confidence a bit of a dint. So that's the energy check-in I've got for you. And that would be my advice. Let's pull you some of this. Let's pull you... Not some, like, we don't want to go on forever. <laughs> Let's see if we get two or three out. 
now watch the half the deco fall just like uh, okay what messages can we have please spirit what messages can we have i was told to stop and I, my hands were already going so i don't know what one it was what messages what messages there we go Oh, look, creativity, exactly what I'm seeing from the start before we got cards. It might do you good, you know, when I've seen that goldfish with some red lipstick on. Now, even if you're a male, right, is get dressed and go out. You know, feel good about yourself. When I lean on my creativity and faith, I change my mind about the world I see. I think that's just everything we've said. Um... But also about the world, you see, I feel about how you feel. I think how you feel is key because you're balancing your emotions, but it's the in-depth of it. I choose to learn through love and I'm being told this owl as well. I do whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. So there's something there of that as well. Okay, so I'm going to leave this here for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, you can always subscribe by liking, subscribing, sharing and coming back to your readings. Um, if you just place any word, any imagery, a comment in the box, I've noticed readings tend to get into the algorithm a lot more, um, and it just helps your reading flow to the right people that need to hear it, as well as um, helping it reach other people, people viewing it and helping reach uh, view the channel. Um, it doesn't take much, um, and that would be great if you can do that. I don't want to do my own um, sort of images in the comments. That's just rather, I don't know. But yeah, so even comments help basically. Take care, stay blessed, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.